Hello everybody, welcome to another Nail Talk Live and today we are going to discuss the new products. Yes, because um, this week we have, as we called in Dutch, an open house, so an open home. Uh, that will mean that uh, Magnetic will introduce new products and new cool stuff uh, for you, the nail technician. Yeah, we always make quite a happening when we do an open house day or an open day. Uh, this time we're going to create a magical uh, fairy tale forest in a tent next to our company and we will make some photos and also a small little video to show you guys next week because we're really going quite out of our comfort zone this yeah. time. <laughs> we even have a fortune teller oh, wow. walking in that magical forest Wow! and magical products. And magical products oh, and some kick-ass nail art. Yeah, so yes. I think uh, we're ready to yeah. go, so oh. we're going to start. And of course, we also have our fabulous trainers. Uh, yeah. It's not only new products. Um, we have, of course, Shiriza again. She's going to show us some beautiful design with some matte and very shiny elements. Uh, made with Shiriza Sweeties. Made with Shiriza Sweeties. Named of course. after Shiriza. <laughs> of course. And uh, of course, Miriam. Miriam um, will show us a really yeah, cool Baroque design uh, with the liner gels. Yeah, and Jessica is going totally Bob Ross, and she's creating a winter wonderland with snowflakes and a sunset, all on a nail done with aqua colors. It's just amazing what yeah. she's able to do. And yeah. it's actually quite easy, if you look at it at least. I didn't try it yet. Oh. I've been busy with other things. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hopefully. <laughs> some inspirational uh, things. Um, but I think we'll uh, get started with some new fun and stuff and cool things yes. because we have some very new glitter stuff. Yeah, we have glitters, of course. We're just going to go through all of the new products uh, to memorize and commemorate all the new launches of our color collections, especially the gel polish collections, we make new posters. And this time we have three posters. One is an image made by Jessica herself. And that's the red one with beautiful nail art on it, the ballerina nails. And then we have two glitter collections, Once Upon a Glitter, and the other collection, not with glitter, is Wishing for Snow. And beautiful. we're going to go through those, yeah. just to show you guys yeah. at home. So, so we have uh, five colors mm -hmm. uh, of the Once Upon a Glitter collection, and the sixth color is a special giveaway present that oh. May gives her, her visitors mm -hmm. on the open house day itself. So I have here Dorothy. When we saw these glitters, we thought of fairy tales. Yeah. And that was also the inspiration for the Winter Wonderland um, open house. And Dorothy is, of course, called after uh, the Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. The Dorothy with her beautiful shoes. It's a very deep, intense red with a very fine glitter. Yeah, yeah. great coverage, two coats, yeah. and uh, all the glitters are great coverage, except for one that needs a little bit more attention. The next one is Cinderella. It's more a pink shade, almost old pink, mm -hmm. with a pink undertone, also with a fine glitter. And Cinderella, of course, who doesn't know Cinderella with her glass shoes, her glass slippers. Aurora. Uh, named after the Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty, I yes, believe. my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sleeping Beauty is my favorite because of Maleficent, but we yeah. had Maleficent <laughs> last <laughs> week, of course. <laughs> and this is Aurora. The tones are quite similar to each other, but there is a difference. As for instance, the Dorothy is more red-based and Aurora has a little bit more black uh, in it. Yeah. And the glitter is finer. So when I showed this to the trainers, everybody had their own favorite. Yeah, of course. And their own special... Um, <laughs> wish for Christmas. We created these colors because Christmas is coming and most clients mm -hmm. want to have glitter nails. The next one is Alice. Alice in Wonderland or Alice in a gel polish bottle. And again, red, but this is more yeah, fire red. Mm -hmm. 
It reminds me of the uh, you know the sugared apples that you have during winter time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> Good uh, uh, <laughs> connection. Uh, this one is Tinkerbell, and Tinkerbell, as you see, is really apple red, mm -hmm. really red red. Um, the problem with glitter gel polishes is that you have a choice either to have pigment in the gel polish, mm -hmm. but pigment covers glitter or to have a more uh, clear base. So this is a more clear base with a glitter in it. So you really need two firm coats to get proper coverage. Um, the other ones also have a little bit of red pigment, but that's because it's a finer glitter. So it, it has less, uh, it doesn't cover the glitter quite that much. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, just a little bit tricky to apply. Well, you can always choose to have like a base color underneath, so it yeah. gives you a little fine twist. If this is a little, gives you a little bit of a transparency, maybe you can, you know, begin yeah. with a white or a black, or maybe just a darker red and give it a kind of twist. Absolutely. Yeah. They're always smart to do, to keep it also thin. Yeah. Uh, the last one is the... It's the wrong one. <laughs> it's Rapunzel. I have it here. Again, a darker color, dark red, burgundy. Mm -hmm. So a beautiful Rapunzel, of course. She's still sitting in the tower, waiting for her Prince Charming yeah. to <laughs> ask her to uh, let down her hair. So May's giveaway present, May loves to give away presents, is Dorothy. And I will show you just how beautiful the coverage is of Dorothy. Can wait. So this color is not for sale. This is just a beautiful limited edition. All the gel polishes are limited editions. Mm -hmm. And I have it here. So you really need to have them yeah. <laughs> just for this season. For this season and of course for next season. You so stock up, make sure that you have enough of these colors. It's a beautiful coverage. Yeah. That's very rare when you're using having glitter or gel polishes. I love it. So I'll cure cure this. Just let me turn on the twin light. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds per mm -hmm. coat per layer. So beautiful colors, and of course the bottles. You can recognize them because uh, the name is written on the bottle. And yeah, set, put them in. Your, and we have a beautiful box. I mean, I forget the most exciting <laughs> thing almost. The Just packaging. look at this. Yes, yeah. I love packaging. <laughs> yeah. I'm a sucker for packaging, but look <laughs> at this beautiful box. Wow. The Once Upon a Glitter collection with glitters and little fairy pixies running around. So with the hole, of course, with the window so that you can check your color, mm -hmm. but you can also always check underneath. Beautiful. But we are really into paper boxes at the moment. Yeah. Environmentally friendly, of I, course. Uh, it's better than the, the plastic ones, yeah, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Uh, but this is not all. No. Well, choosing colors is always difficult. It eh? is. It's, it is. It is a very personal thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm a very classic person. Perhaps you don't think that, but I am. So I have a definite personal preference for darker shades, classic shades. Uh, but we have many people around the world and many requests. And the next three colors were made by special request. Um, those are ochre yellow, rusty brown, and willow green. So I'll show them here as well. Well, the ochre yellow is really a color that a lot of people have been asking for. In Europe, this is now really a fashion mm -hmm. color still. Yes. And we had difficulty finding a beautiful color of yeah. ochre yellow because it was like um, not something nice to say but it, it was a little bit yucky yeah <laughs> and so but Jessica asked for it a lot of people are wearing this color and beautiful in combination with darker shades mm -hmm. like the rusty brown the rusty red uh, because this is a brown red yeah and if you combine these and for instance you do the ochre yellow on the ring fingers and these on, on this yeah one they're on the beautiful fingers. match yes and we have this beautiful, almost pistachio green, mm -hmm. very popular now also in fashion. And this is the willow green. Yeah, I love it. I yeah. like it. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of a different take on a nude. Yeah, I think so. A yeah. neutral nude. Yeah, yes, but it's like, well, it's a fall winter nude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's really beautiful. And if you come, yeah, I really, I'm looking forward to playing around with yeah. this. <laughs> but I love green.
I'm really into green. Mm. Um, what you perhaps saw is that I have here the tips here on the bottle, and I attach them with the special glue pads or tabs. I'll take this off so that you can see. It's here on the bottle. Yeah. Wow. And you just attach your tip. And what makes this different? I have them here also in the packaging to show you. There's 30 pieces in the package, and these are reusable. And what is important is that sometimes you, in Europe we use Prit Buddy. I don't mm -hmm. know if you, you know what Prit Buddy is, but it's like a gum that you use to stick on posters on the wall. Mm -hmm. um, and the problem with Prit Buddy is that it's really not professional mm -hmm. and that it uh, gets dirty over time. Well, these glue tabs are reusable and when they have problems with sticking, you just put them under the water, just a little bit of water, and that reactivates the adhesive properties of the glue tab, and then you can use them again and again and again and again and again to display your color pops on your bottles, as I've done, so that it's easy for your clients to recognize and for yourself to recognize the gel polishes that you want to use, but also to uh, display your nail art, for instance, on this little beautiful turquoise thingy, here we have the nail that we did last time, last mm -hmm. week, what's which was a terribly... Uh, uh, people loved it. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's just like a new hype, a new fashion. Yeah. The new fashion in nails. Yes, and you see French. it everywhere. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we, I'm happy that we were able to show yeah. you guys this technique to inspire you and uh, to play around with it. And we saw some really cool yeah. variations. I just have to say, Rilana de Falk, of mm -hmm. course, of Crystal Nails in Holland, she made an awesome variation. Yeah, it was very beautiful. But also, a lot of our viewers. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy that everybody liked it. But at least, so you put your glue tabs on this, and then you can take your tips on and display it. And if it gets messy yeah. due to dust or uh, glitters... And you just cut them in the size yeah. that you want to have. You can have. cut them. Yeah, if you want a single or... Yeah, yeah it's yeah. just... They're packaged... 30 and you just cut them. I cut them now single yes. to put them on the bottles. Mm -hmm. But you, of course you can also take five next to each other and then for on the white cards for your display cards. Yeah. And then you can put five nails together. And so they're beautiful. And I love the artwork again of the packaging with yes. the <laughs> tropical <laughs> birds and roses and just um, beautiful. I agree. I agree. Well, but after the pads, we also, of course, the glue pads, we have uh, our famous power gel. And power gel is also, um, yeah, I, I think it's a hype as well, working with this this type of product. Yeah. Um, and it's not only in 30 grams now, but it's in 50 grams. So yes. a little bit more. And don't be fooled, because it's the same jar, actually. It's the same size jar. Uh, Debbie asked me, or, or no, uh, Cheyenne asked me, or Lisanne, how is that possible? Well, that's because the inner cup is a different size. Mm -hmm. The inner cup of the 50 gram is bigger than the inner cup. A jar has an inner cup, so it's a, that's a jar in the jar. And so you won't see it on the first face, but they are bigger and they contain more. And you said already, this type of gel is an, uh, a trend product. Yeah. What is important to note, though, that there are, if we talk about poly gels or polyacrylic gels or acryl gel, mm -hmm. or there's a lot of different yeah, names. Yeah, they have different names, yes. And they all uh, are about a gel that doesn't stick and feels almost like working with acrylic. But there are different ways to create this type of gel, and we chose a different path. Um, so we didn't simply mix powder with gel to create uh, this type of gel mm -hmm. because the disadvantage of doing that is that it becomes brittle and brittle if you ma want to make long nails or very thin nails and they wear a little bit more mm -hmm. so if you would make a perfect competition square nail then over time in due course the corners would just lose its sharpness and well brittle so it's a little bit more like um, yeah Plaster. It's softer. Yeah. Softer. Yeah, softer. Soft. It doesn't feel softer. No. But it but it is softer. Yeah. It is um, yeah. It's more like uh, it's more like to uh, to damage uh, yeah and to lose its structure yeah. faster. It's like yeah. styrofoam. Yeah. If you buy a TV, 
it's packaged in styrofoam, you know, the white stuff mm -hmm. that, that does this. And uh, when you were a child, you did this and you had snow everywhere and your parents wanted to kill you. Well, styrofoam <laughs> is brittle. If it hits the wall, then it loses the particles. While we try to create a flexible and harder product, mm -hmm. and we did that with a totally different chemical process. So if you are interested in power gel, let us know because uh, it is really a great product, yeah. especially with the 3D French nails. Absolutely. So <laughs> it's really handy that they're now in 50 grams because yeah. I went through the whole jar yeah. of power gel, <laughs> practicing and playing around to do the 3D gel. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, well, I, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Yes. Um, that was the technical stuff. We also have some fun art stuff. Yes. And this is also a special request from Jessica. Yes, Jessica again, together with our art department, designed two new stamping plates. And these are called a, a fairy tale. And I'll take it out so that you can have a look at the designs. We changed also this artwork. <laughs> <laughs> so we have now on the back, you can clearly see the designs that are on the stamping plate. Oh, that's nice. So it makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah. Because cool. sometimes it's difficult to see through what is on here. Another thing that is important is that you have to take off the foil mm -hmm. of the stamping plate. Because sometimes I get people on the telephone and they tell call us and they tell us, well, your stamping plates, they are too fine. They are very fine. The lines are very fine. But and then they complain that they cannot stamp. Well, listen, you can stamp. The only thing you need to do is a take off the foil. If you don't take off the foil, you cannot stamp. No. <laughs> and you do that with just, the, it's a little bit tricky, but just make sure that you have a little corner. I use the scissors, mm -hmm. but you can use the tweezers. And of course, you may think to yourself, of course I do that. And I bet you do. But just in case. Sometimes you still forget it. <laughs> yes. Like a couple of years ago, water decals are popular. And I told everybody, don't forget to cut, uh, to take the plastic backing off mm -hmm. before you put the water decal in the water. And of course, when I demonstrated it, I forgot to take Big. the plastic <laughs> backing off and it didn't work. But great stamping plates. And Jessica is going to give a masterclass in, during the open house in yeah. Holland okay. in the fairy tale theme. And the other one is really cool. I just have to mention the wonderful effects of the stained glass. I love stained glass. Mm -hmm. My whole house is a Tiffany showroom. <laughs> and uh, the stained glass we have in different motifs. We have owls, we have butterflies, we have a little heart shape. But just imagine a transparent glass nail. Beautiful. And then stamping the stained glass on top of that just to grace, give it extra oomph. Or you take hand painting and just fill in every little little element. But, I mean, you can also go in theory, therapy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, via, it's therapy, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, another therapy um, is what uh, Miriam's going to show us, because she's going to show us a beautiful Baroque design. Hi there, nice that you're watching. Today I'm going to show you a design using liner gels. I've already prepared the nail and I'm going to apply gel polish Wildcat on top of this nail. Then I will finish this with matte top gel and then create the design using the liner gels. Before applying the color I'll push back the cuticle so that I have an even application around the cuticle. I'll work for the first coat from my palette using the triangle brush to get an even and precise application around the cuticle area. With my thumb I pull back the skin and I really sweep almost underneath the cuticle. When the first coat is perfectly applied you cure it for 30 seconds in the twin light. The second coat is applied with the brush from the bottle for complete coverage and also cure for 30 seconds in the twin light. Now I'm going to use some chameleon flakes and add these to the sticky layer of the gel polish to create a beautiful shimmer in the nail. To fixate the chameleon flakes, I will put the nail of the client back in the light for 10 seconds and then I will finish the nail using extreme mud top gel 
and I will cure this for one and a half minutes in the twin light before continuing my design. Now I will continue the design using liner gel gold and white. I'll first take the liner gel gold. I'm using the Pan's Choice brush and I will make a sweeping long line in the middle of the nail. Very flat and very even. This is very easy to create a long thin line. And I will fixate this line 10 seconds in a twin light. After the liner gold I'll use liner gel white. I'll use liner gel white to create the curls and the baroque effect of this design. Making beautiful long lines going to the center of the nail, creating a very ornamental type nail. The, the ornaments I will paint with Katharina's Choice brush. This is the shortest brush of the set of three and it's super easy to use when you want to create thin curls or lines. The choice of brush is very personal, so try different brushes before making your definite decision on when to use which brush for which steps of your designs. Adding here and there, with these designs it's easy to get lost in a total jungle of elements, so sometimes sit back and have a close look. When you're finished, cure liner white for one and a half minutes and then this is the end result. beautiful accent nail on a set of nails. Super cool for your clients. Have a lot of fun practicing, make variations, create and be an artist. See you next time. What a professional is Miriam, uh, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. Or we know. Yeah. But <laughs> you, what you don't know is that she was really ill when we had to do these ta takes and still be able to make such a beautiful Baroque ornamental design. Really impressive. So always nice to see yeah. her techniques. And her professionality, really. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> really. Uh, back to new stuff. Uh, because we have some beautiful concentrates, and they're very high pigmented concentrates. Yeah. We have them in blue, yellow, and in red. And you can also give the perfect glass uh, effect, stained glass, stained glass effect. effect. Um, but now, also on request, um, more highly pigmented, we have color concentrate black. Yes, this was a special request uh, made by Yulia Vorobieva mm -hmm. from Moscow. She works a lot with the concentrates and she's just amazing mixing power gel, mixing plastic gel, mixing everything, everything, everything. And she was here for video takings, uh, tapes and she asked uh, concentrate black. And I'll just show you quickly how to use it because it's very easy, but you only need to use a little bit. I have here my paper palette and I'm just going to use it now using a basin top. Mm -hmm. So. I'll just add a little bit of base and top on the paper palette. Don't use the color concentrate black pure. Mm -hmm. It is a gel. Of course, it's a gel with diluted uh, pigment in it. Mm -hmm. um, but it is so highly pigmented that you may have a problem with curing. So that is the reason why you're mixing it with, um, with a, clear. a clear. Yeah. yeah. Or with a white. Yeah. And then just take... So I have here... Black, concentrate, base and top. Just take a little bit on my spatula. It's really a tiny amount. And a tiny amount goes a long way. So it's better to add on than to take off. So. so the black concentrate is more pigmented than just a black gel polish? Absolutely. A lot more concentrated. And is the viscosity then different? The viscosity is no. No, it's quite similar. It is also made in a gel polish base, mm -hmm. um, so uh, to make sure that it blends evenly. Mm -hmm. And as you can see also, when you blend it out, you don't have grains of pigment. Mm -hmm. You just have an even mixture of the gel polish black, mm -hmm. of the gel polish. But you can also use this to, for instance, mix uh, gel polish colors. Let's take, because sometimes people don't know what, what they can do with the yeah. gel polish uh, concentrate. Let's take a little bit of this rusty brown. Oops. So. 
and just let's say that our client wants to have a little bit darker shade then I'll just take a little bit extra just use a tiny amount don't spread it on your palette and just mix this a little bit here and then you can custom blend, mm -hmm. custom create the colors for your clients. For instance, with a little bit of black. Let's take a little bit more to get a bigger contrast. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can do this on the palette or you can do that in a, in a paint mixing box. Mm -hmm. And custom create your colors for nail art, for uh, gel polish application. Mm -hmm. But even if there's a special color, let's say you want a red with a, 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 a like a um, um, beige undertone. Mm -hmm. It's not really possible, but <laughs> uh, then you can custom create your colors. Because with the three that we already have, as you said, the yellow, the blue and the red, Together, this this allows you to create any yeah. color that you want to create. These are the primary colors. The primary yeah. colors, and then you use the black to create the shade of the color, mm -hmm. so the tone of the color, either making it darker or making it lighter using a little bit of mm -hmm. white. Cool. Yes. So more variations. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then it would be very fun to have some glitter added. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> There's no, never enough glitter. No, no, never enough glitter. And that's why we have also new glitter sprays. Uh, beautiful white gold. Orky gold? How, no. do, I, how do I say it? <laughs> ochre, <laughs> ochre gold. Ochre, ochre, gold. ochre gold. gold. And flaming red. Okay. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's a, a tongue twister. A tongue twister, these yeah. Names. <laughs> because Especially when you're from the Netherlands and you see sometimes words and you think... Um, what is it? But it's ochre. Well, yeah. I also <laughs> think that people outside of the Netherlands, when they look at Nether uh, yeah, Dutch words, the think to themselves, <laughs> what is that? Uh, anywho, um, I cannot show these yet because no. they're still in production. But the white gold is like a silver with a soft yellow base, like a dull base, like platinum, platinum glitter. Ochre yellow is really yellow gold. So a great mm -hmm. match with... The ochre yellow, yellow. gel polish. Yeah. <laughs> and the, f the red is really fiery, really feisty, really mm -hmm. for Christmas. Christmas spirit. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Spray it everywhere and your life will be a glitter magic. <laughs> <laughs> well, who can create also magic is of course Charissa. Hello everybody, it's super cool that you're watching again. Today the show is about the open house coming up this weekend. And how cool is it that last time Magnetic released the Cerisa Sweeties color gels. And I'm going to use those for my design today, a super easy and fast design. I already prepared the nail, I made an almond nail and I'm going to start with the application of the base layer. And I'm going to do this base layer with Charissa Sweeties. You could have done it with gel polish, but the Charissa Sweeties is really easy to use also as a color coat, a full color, on top of artificial product. It's not that suitable to use on the natural nail. So I apply it on the whole surface and then I'm going to go relatively close to the cuticle but I will later take a smaller brush to really perfect my cuticle application. I've taken the Pain's Choice brush and a little bit of the black licorice Charissa Sweeties color gel just to detail and fine tune the whole cuticle area. Of course you can use any thin brush for this. The thinner your brush, the easier and sharper your application around the cuticle. A cool property of the Sweeties is that they don't have a sticky layer after curing. So I don't need to finish it with any top gel. I can go straight in with my design to create an effect. I'm using the extreme matte top gel on one half of the nail with my brush on its side. Not using it flat to prevent seeping of the product into the cuticle. Just a nice line cutting the nail in half, getting one half 
matte and one half shiny of the nail, after curing, of course. When you're satisfied, cure it for one and a half minutes. Now, the first steps of the design. Today it's very simple, but really cool. I'm going to add some lines to this detail with the black licorice Charissa Sweeties color gel to get a um, kind of a balance of different effects on one nail. I'm just taking a little drop of the Charissa Sweeties and just pulling it in arched towards the center of the nail. So creating nice arches, little drop to make a thicker beginning of the line and then pulling up the brush while going to the middle of the nail, creating your relief, your 3D effect. And just pulling your brush towards the center and down, towards the center and down. After I finish this nail, we have kind of a mirror-like effect on both sides, so it's mirrored. The design is copied. Just adding a little bit here in the upper part of the nail. And of course, I cure this for about a minute in the twin light. So now, I have an effect of shiny elements on a matte base. On the other side, I'm going to add matte elements on a shiny base. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm not going to finish it with a matte uh, extreme top gel. I'm just going to use reinforcing powder to mattify the color gel. So add your elements and then spray it with reinforcing powder, a super fine acrylic polymer that not only gives more strength, but also like a matte effect. And really let the Charissa Sweeties absorb reinforcing powder and cure it for 60 seconds. Now you can see what my idea is behind this design. And I'm just going to finish it using more of the Charissa Sweeties. After curing, I'm just removing all of the reinforcing powder with the soft dust brush. And here is the design. A really cool, perhaps abstract design that I've made with one type of product with different effects. Mud reinforcing powder. I really like this cool design. And of course you can create anything you, you can imagine. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this design. I made something simple but effective. And you can do this with all of the sh uh, sweeties. And hopefully we wish you a very nice open house and see you next week. Treatment products. As always, as magic, like I said before, um, I only get some taste of, uh, of some licorice. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. very Dutch though, <laughs> licorice. It I don't is. know if it's you not know only what Dutch. it is. No, no, it's not only Dutch, but we have really like salty licorice. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's a Dutch treat. And if you eat it and you're not used to the taste, it's like, whoa. But Shereza is really an artist. We were talking about it yeah. during the video that we really like the way she teaches and shows her di designs and techniques. Absolutely. So we're really happy that she's also a part of Neil Talk Live. Yes, absolutely. As are you, of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're going to talk about the treatment products. Yeah. Uh, because we have uh, some beautiful new um, yeah, products in our seduction line. Uh, yeah. And I absolutely love it. It looks so amazingly. Yeah. yeah. The hand soap, that is really... Yeah, the, the hand soap. Of course, a, a lot of people were asking for a hand soap. And uh, we decided to create a hand soap. And it's over here. <laughs> but what you guys may not know, I'll tell you a little bit about behind the scenes at Magnetic, is that the development of a new product like a hand soap or a treatment or a cuticle oil or gel or any, any new product, if you do that how really how you should do it, that process takes about a year. So a year ago we launched Seduction. Mm -hmm. Everybody was really in love with it. Uh, and they were asking for a hand soap. And then you have to create a hand soap that matches the product with a perfume, with packaging, and it all needs to be tested, microbiological, uh, we need to know the shelf life. So there are many things, but this hand soap is beautiful. It has a shimmer. It is the essence of Mother of Pearl. A beautiful perfume, and mm -hmm. it's not only a soap. Of course, before and after each surface using this as a hand soap is beautiful, but you can also use it as a soak during the seduction treatment. Treatments. During cool. the manicure, mm -hmm. in the bowl. Perhaps together with the um, manicure marbles, because then you have the fizziness, mm -hmm. but also the delicate aroma, touched by delicate orchids, <laughs> as we say about seduction. 
but beautiful and an absolute must, of course, in your salad. Absolutely, but that's not the only thing. Because you also have an intense cuticle cream. And uh, this is a special, because it's only natural ingredients. Yes, yeah. it's natural ingredients, and the intense cuticle tr uh, cream is a treatment that you can use on dry skin, cracked mm -hmm. skin, callous skin, skin, mm -hmm. but also on very dry cuticles because it promotes healing. It contains extracts of chamomile, which really promotes he the healing process. And um, it's really a deeply moisturizing um, cream that balances the moisture level in the skin. Beautiful to use also on the backs of your feet, mm -hmm. for instance, or your knees or your elbows. And I love it because I have like really dry cuticles. And I really need some intensive treatment for my yeah. cuticles <laughs> or mortar. Yeah. Uh, but this really does the trick. So it's a very rich cream. It's very uh, yes. the consistency, a little bit thicker as well. Yes, it's almost like... Like buttercream? Yeah. 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 It also is a little bit yellow, but that's because of the natural ingredients. I just mm -hmm. wanted to point that out. It's not the synthetic white color, but it's really completely filled with all... Good things from Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. Promotes healing together with a beautiful aroma of seduction. Beautiful. And of course, there's also new cuticle oil. Absolutely. Beautiful new uh, lotus and cashmere cuticle oil. S I, I have them here. It's yeah. like a little present. Just yeah. see how beautiful this is. Isn't this the most beautiful cuticle oil you've ever seen. Just look at the box with the flowers <laughs> and everything. We have the cashmere yeah. and we have the lotus. The lotus is a fresh floral scent mm -hmm. and the cashmere is a rich, seductive mm, <laughs> scent. <laughs> it's really <laughs> just the best. I love the cashmere yeah. as, you, as you see. The lotus is a little bit fresher but of course, these yeah. oils also contain some beautiful ingredients. Yes, yeah, some vitamin, uh, vitamin E and vitamin A, of course. And uh, it also contains um, argan oil. And um, you call, you said, a bisabolo? A bisabolo. Bolo. bisabolo. And bisabolo is the active ingredient that is harvested from chamomile. So that aids to help in healing, it promotes he the healing process. Uh, argan oil, of course, is, a, is, is very popular mm -hmm. nowadays, but it's a re really rich, full, cr uh, full oil. Mm -hmm. uh, vitamin E and A regenerates the anti-aging process. Mm -hmm. These are stabilized vitamin E and A, because uh, sometimes you have destabilized vitamin E and A. But these... Um, these ingredients, they become active the moment you start to apply it to the skin, instead of being active only as a... Because sometimes vitamin E and A mm -hmm. are only used as a stabilizer. Yeah. And this is really an active so ingredient. So it works more exfoliating. Than um, no, no the, 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 the vitamin E and A gets uh, active... Uh, activated yeah. the moment you start to massage it into the cuticles okay. and then it starts to uh, help in the anti-aging and uh, to protect against free radicals. Mm -hmm. So it's not a com not a stabilizer inside the cuticle oil, but it's really an active ingredient. Yeah, yeah. That's an the difference. Activator. A lot yeah. of people can tell you it contains vitamin E and A, but it's either used to condition the product mm -hmm. or to condition the skin. And we chose to condition the skin. Lastly, it also contains another magical ingredient in this magical evening, and that's evening primrose. It sounds like something from the Hunger Games, yeah. <laughs> but evening primrose is um, it is really beneficial to help the condition of the natural nail unit. It's quite a new ingredient. Mm -hmm. It came in the market about three, four years ago. But evening primrose is really a popular ingredient to use when it is about keratin. And the keratinization process is really aided by this evening primrose. Mm -hmm. But even if you don't know that, the name itself, Evening Primrose, is just... Oh. It's beautiful yeah. already. <laughs> so get excited, <laughs> get seduced, get the magnetic cuticle oils, lotus and cashmere. Oh. Well, and we're not only having talking about roses, um, but talking about whole landscapes that are very beautiful. <laughs> and I know one person who can make them like the Bob Ross style, and of course that is Jessica.
Hello everybody! I'm here again and Open House is coming! Super new products, cool products and I'm really inspired but today I'm going to use aqua colors. I'm going to use these on a white gel polish base, polished twice with whitest white gel polish and then finish with extreme mud top gel. I'm going to create a Bob Ross inspired design. I'm going to start with blue aqua colors and I'm going to create the peaks of the mountains, the tops of the mountains. And I'm just going to slightly apply it in kind of a V-shape, just underneath each other. First just the outline. And then I'm going to use a little bit of prep and wipe on my brush and I'm going to pat the aqua color so that it blends out a little bit, creating the blended faded sides of the mountain tops. I'm really pressing the product, uh, first patting it to so make it a little bit more wet, then I'm pressing it back to the line, following the line of the mountain peak, and then using the belly of my brush to create a fading onto the white surface. Don't use too much prep and wipe. You can mix aqua colors together and I'm going to create a mixture of green and black aqua colors to create the trees in this design. It's a scenery, so I'm going to create a, a tree, a pine tree, with a vintage green color mixed. So first a three straight line and then the branches of the trees. And then Bob Ross always says, oh, let's give them a tree, a friendly tree. So here a tree and another tree is living on the other side, just coming slightly off of the nail. A little bit bigger tree. In nature you have bigger and smaller trees, of course. So it's not really detailed, it's more using the products for its effect. I'm using the mixture of green and black also on the sides of the mountain tops to create a shadow effect. So I have one side light with a pale blue and the other side dark with a mixture of black and green aqua color. Then this leaves the air. So it's a sunset, a sunset, an evening sunset, and I'm going to start with yellow aqua colors. I've cleaned my brush properly and now I'm just creating the background of the sunset. Then I'm taking a little bit of the pink aqua color and I'm going to blend these together using a little bit of prep and wipe. This gives a beautiful orange hue suitable and fitting for a sunset. Just blending everything with my brush. I'm actually still using the same brush, the detailer number three, to create the whole design. To give a little bit more depth, I'm going to use a little bit of purple. And purple, of course, blends perfectly into pink, making the blending quite easy. Cleaning the brush with prep and wipe, and I'm using the very tip of the brush to create like a cloud shape. So it's a stormy night. Adding a little bit of black to my purple, I have a slightly darker purple that I use in the upper corner to create more depth. This is really the evening sky. I'm just giving a little bit more shadow to this tree and now the base is done, the base of the design. So we need to finish this. I will finish it after the colors have really dried properly. First a coat of Beethoven top and then a coat of extreme mop top gel. And on top of that I'm going to create some little more details. So this is always an exciting moment, you see what you've created. Okay, so the extreme mud has cured for one and a half minutes in the light, so it's really matte and now we're going to add some special details, giving extra depth and dimension. I'm using extreme white gel together with mermaid spray 
in the multi variation. So I'm just adding a little bit of snow to the mountain peaks. And you, as you see, the, the white really pops out against the darker background colors. And also, of course, gives it a little bit of a 3D effect. The trees also get a little bit of snow on their branches because it's a winter wonderland scape. Adding some snow here and there. And also a little bit of dots here and there with my fresh pen. Really tiny dots because it's snowing outside. Don't be too precise. Make them not even in shape and size, but just here and there, creating a nicer background effect. So, before curing the extreme white top gel, I'm using the mermaid spray just to sprinkle in some glitters. Cure this for one and a half minutes in a twin light. After curing, remove the excess of glitters and you have an amazing and beautiful Bob Ross effect design. A snow landscape glistening in the sunset. If you really want to learn these kinds of designs and have classes with me, Jessica, well, are you a little bit afraid that you won't be able to create these designs? I'm going to actually teach the basic nail art classes. From the very beginning, working together with you, developing your skills. And remember, of course, there was also a time that I wasn't able to create uh, designs or nail art, hand painting. But if you really go for it, you are able to do it. And I really want to help you and coach you on your road to artistry. Together, I'm sure we can do this. To get the passion for nail art. I hope to see you on the 25th and 26th of January. There's a new class, Basic Nail Art by Jessica. Thank you for watching. Oh, Jessica is always such an inspiration, also hairdo-wise, yeah. she's just <laughs> the best. And this design, isn't it just to die for? Yes, it is, absolutely. I absolutely love it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's like looking at a Bob Ross painting, but then on nails, and so With aqua easy-ish. Easy-ish. Yeah. Easy -ish. <laughs> -ish. Um, and what we forgot to mention is that Kirsten, that is our voice-over, is still on vacation, so unfortunately you had to... Mm -hmm. Listen to me again. Yeah, well. Ah, well. We do that. Sorry. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> we've done all the new products. Yeah. Debbie, time flew by. Yeah, time flew by. Um, I hope we yeah, could give you some more inspiration with all these new products. And, um, well, I think that was it. Yeah, next week yeah, we'll next try week. to give you also more information and inspiration. And inspiration. And it's all about ombre, ombre with all different products. Gel, gel polish, acrylics, color acrylics, power gel. Air nails. Air nails. Yeah. Ombre, ombre, ombre. If you have any difficulties with ombre, be sure to watch the next show next week. Until then. Bye. Bye.